test will have to pass a crucial 100 seconds. Let's quickly take a look at uh, what are those crucial 100 seconds. Now it's 6 seconds in fin will be enabling system activated. Now 6 seconds into the flight, the fin enabling system will be activated when the pressure exceeds 100 pascals. Now. Uh, now 61.1 seconds in crew escape system separates now nearly uh, it'll take 61.1 seconds after the launch when the vehicle reaches a Mach number of 1.21 at an altitude of 11.9 kilometer the, is, the crew escape system will separate from the rocket booster and it'll take nearly 61.1 seconds now the most crucial part of this uh, 100 second is the 91 seconds in crew module separation starts now once uh, the separation will happen nearly 91 seconds after the launch has actually happened now uh, at 98 Point one four seconds the final descent with the parachute will begin now the vehicle then enters the coasting phase especially after separating from the uh, the rocket module uh, the vehicle then will enter the coast coasting phase where it continues to ascend without propulsion and the drogue parachuted is deployed next now slowing the vehicle's descent the final descent with the main parachute begins at 98.14 second after the launch now um, now joining us back on the broadcast is Nikhil Nikhil could you help us understand how crucial is this um, Gaganyan mission for the international status of India altogether as it will be the fourth nation to be sending out or carrying out this unmanned mission well uh, Kohira taking further what we have mentioned earlier this mission is also uh, going to give the crucial insight and the crucial data as far as the main mission are concerned so far what we do know that the India is planning to uh, you know host a space station international space station uh, so to say and Soviet Union US and China are the only ones who have been able to send their main mission so it makes it even more crucial for the country that we have to make it even more successful so it aims to provide the quality check it also aims to check the uh, as to how the ejection is going to take place this one is even more crucial because in case of any of the contingency if it is going to take place uh, in the air then how the astronauts who are going to be a part of the main mission how they are going to take the ejection so everything has been planned likewise and the last minute checks as we speak they are also being done the stopwatch has already uh, already been activated and now we are waiting for the moment sharp at about 8 a.m. when the uh, mission is going to be launched and this becomes also more crucial because Prime Minister Narin Modi and all the stakeholders who are directly related to this particular mission they are keeping a close watch on the same because when this mission is going to be completed the dynamics which are going to come out the insights which are going to come out they are going to become very more crucial when the actual manned mission is going to take place by uh, Indian Space Research Organization and uh, taking further what Srishti has mentioned a while back this is going to, uh, uh, to become a part one after the successful completion of this particular mission after the successful completion uh, of the LV one mm -hmm. the second part is also going to be launched where the further details will be sought uh, by the rocket which is going to take place so there are many of the checks which have to be done not just the quality check but also the insights which are the data the study which is going to be done they are also going to be very very crucial which are not, not just going to be beneficial for the ISRO but also going to be beneficial for the international community as well for the space research. Back to you. Right. Thank you so much, Nikhil. Uh, I'll request you uh, and Shrishti to hold on with us with, on the broadcast. While we quickly slip into a very short break, we'll be right back with more news and updates on this mission, Gaganyan.